Today we are gonna test the battery in this truck with a snap-on D-Tac Elite. So this one does plug into the, the wall, so you need to plug it into 110. It also has a power switch on the back, right next to that cord. Snap-on electrical system diagnostic. We're gonna fire it up here. The screen comes on, so now we can toggle through which tests we're looking for. This, this particular machine does all sorts of stuff. It'll do complete system tests, battery starting and charging, uh, diagnostic charge, just to make sure that the battery is charged correctly. What we're gonna do on this one is we're just gonna do a simple battery test. On battery this guy. test. Customer ID, that's if you need to put a repair order number, customer last name not needed so it's going to give us some directions here connect small red tester clamp to the positive post and this and the small black so if you notice this machine has two sets of leads on it there's these big heavy ones and the small ones so for th this test we need the small ones we're going to connect to our battery terminals Get those connected. There's a few selections here. It's gonna ask us once it once it detects the battery's connected, it's gonna ask if it's in the vehicle or out of the vehicle. We're in the vehicle. What type of battery it is. This is a side post battery. It's automotive. It's a regular chemistry or regular construction, not an AGM or AGM. Viral. Unit we're going to use is cold cranking amps. And we need to toggle this. This particular battery is 800. So we're going to toggle this up. Select. All right, so what it's asking here is for us to hold this tester above the battery case. So the reason we do that is it measures the temperature. So we're gonna hit that and hit the next button. It tests. So it's taking into account that temperature correction factor for the voltage. Good battery. So there we go. There's our results. 924 cranking amps at 12.7 volts. 77 degree temperature on this particular battery. So uh, kind of gives you a little graph there if you need that. So all sorts of fun stuff. Push exit here, we're back to the main menu. So that's a battery test on this guy. The other function that this does is it'll do a diagnostic battery charge. So we're going to toggle up here to this diagnostic charge. So constantly evaluates the battery during charge session. So that's an accurate way to charge. If you're unsure of the health of the battery or the battery went down overnight, you can charge it up that way. So we'll show how to hook that up. So we're gonna select diagnostic charge. Diagnostic charge. So we need to connect the large charger clamps to the battery. So those are connected. We put the customer ID in if we need to do that. We don't need to in this instance. It's in the vehicle. Is a side post. Automotive. It's a regular chemistry. Cold cranking amp. This is an 800 cold cranking amp battery. So you can see here this flashing light showing us communicating. So what it's doing is it's load testing the battery. It's determining if it needs a charge or not. <laughs> All right, so it, it did the test. It shows we have a good battery. So it doesn't even need to charge it. If it did need to charge, it would come up and say battery charging and it'll give you 
this elapsed time. So that'll count up. So it'll tell how many how much time has elapsed while it's charging. It also gives you how many amp hours while it's charging. But the, since this battery's in good health, no charge needed. So it has the, uh, looks like it's cold crank amp is in excess of the rating. The voltage is good. So that's the way to do a diagnostic charge and test on this particular DTAC Elite.